I'm Donald Trump. In a world of more than 6 billion people, there are only 587 billionaires. It's an exclusive club. Would you like to join us? Of course, the odds against you are about 10 million to 1. But if you think like a billionaire, those odds shouldn't phase you at all. Billionaires don't care what the odds are. We don't listen to common sense or do what's conventional or expected. We follow our vision, no matter how crazy or idiotic other people think it is. That's what this audiobook is about, learning how to think like a billionaire. Even if you absorb only 10% of the wisdom you're about to hear, you'll still have a good shot at becoming a millionaire. And a millionaire's not so bad, is it? In my previous audiobook, How to Get Rich, I shared some of my favorite techniques for running a profitable business and becoming a TV megastar. Consider this the second part of an ongoing conversation between you and the Donald, the billionaire's equivalent of those best-selling works of inspiration, Conversations with God, and Conversations with God, Book Two. I'm only kidding. Actually, I'm sure some wise guy in the media is going to accuse me of comparing myself to God. So for the record, I definitely do not think I'm God. I believe in God. If God ever wanted an apartment in Trump Tower, I would immediately offer my best luxury suite at a very, very special price. I believe God is everywhere and in all of us, and I want every decision I make to reflect well on me when it's time for me to go to that big boardroom in the sky. When I get permanently fired by the ultimate boss, I want the elevator to heaven to go up, not down. Some of you may think it's wrong to talk about God and business in the same breath, but God has always been central to our way of thinking about capitalism. The Protestant work ethic has thrived for centuries. The pursuit of prosperity is ingrained in our religious culture. The more you have, the more you can give. 